So what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm happy because we finally, we finally got a rain yesterday. We haven't gotten a good rain in like probably about six weeks. And things were starting to get a little bit dry. We had like, you know, a sprinkle here, a sprinkle there. But yesterday we had like a downpour about an inch. Because I've been getting a little bit worried because I've been clipping a lot of the pasture just to get rid of the stuff behind me. Like this is a pasture that I need to clip. But, but I was about to stop clipping because of just how dry it is. It's just been too dry. But now after yesterday, it makes me feel a whole lot better. And we're actually supposed to have more rain coming in uh, later on this afternoon, uh, the next day and the next day. So this is just gonna make the pasture explode. So I'm gonna see how much I can get done today um, to where we can take advantage of that. Come on, cow cows, come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows, come on. Come on, cows. Let me show you what they're moving on to because it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, the Bahia is doing great up here. For it being so dry in the summer, I mean, look at this. This is great. Cows are all going to be fat and happy on this, that's for sure. Hi, Yoli. All right, guys, this burn pile is not a jungle gym. Can we make sure that we don't get hurt on it? Please? I haven't burned this yet because it's been too dry. But now they're going to come and pick the little leaves off of it or something. I don't know cows they see something new oh, I'm gonna go find out what it is I'm gonna go touch it so since it rained yesterday and there's a ton of morning dew on the ground cows don't need water just yet so we're gonna go take care of the ducks and then we're gonna work on a little issue that we're having with the water line oh man I thought we were in the process of fixing that ducks are out I don't know if they've used their nesting box yet. Gotta figure out, maybe put a fake egg in there or something. The problem with that, it's been a, kind of a regular occurrence of late, and I don't know exactly why. I'm sure it's because of the nesting box. But this is the first time in three days that they haven't gotten out. So here's what I'm gonna try and do, okay? This is their nesting barrel that I thought that would work. Let's just take some of this, this would be called hay now, but it's just uh, grass clippings. I wanna see, it might be, I don't know. That might be a little bit too tall for them to jump in, but if I flip it upside down, they might like it better. We'll see. Now for our daily game of hide and go seek since the ducks get out. They always hide their eggs over here. See in there? No. This fence line. Let's see. Here's one of their usual spots. Is it back here? No. Hmm. Gotta try and find the egg. So every morning, it's like an Easter egg hunt. But here's the problem with the ducks getting out, is that I just can't find their eggs today. I know they laid them, because they've been laying and finding an egg every day, at least one, at most three so far, but I can't find them today, which is not a good thing. Because if, if I can't find them today, the ducks know where they're at, and they'll come back and lay them in the same place tomorrow where I won't be able to find them. It's always in this fence row here, but for some reason, they're just not here today. Huh. Really weird. Let's see, right here. See, look, you can see that they're trying to nest right there. What over here? 
No egg, no egg. Come on, ducks. This is why I really need them to lay in the nesting box, or at least in the net, or stay in the net, because I can't find any eggs today. That's not good. Well, we're gonna give up for today and see if we can find them tomorrow. By the way, the reason why that the ducks are getting out, because this is sheep and goat netting, this isn't the poultry netting, so it's big enough for them to get out, but they stay in during the day. It's just at night, or early in the morning, when they try to get out to go lay their egg. But now, on a more pressing matter, is the project for the cows today, is I need this thing. Actually, I need to take that off. And what we're gonna do, is we're just simply gonna cut this. See if I can do it with one hand. I know they're rusty, but they work. See, almost there, come on. All right, maybe, maybe with the right hand. Can we get it? Get in there. Come on. I know you're rusty, but you can work for me. Let me explain to you guys the issue, okay? So this right here is not the fitting that uh, goes with this pipe. As you can see, that's why it keeps popping off, okay? This fitting is one from the local hardware store, okay? It just, it's close enough to where it kind of holds. This fitting here is called a Lasco fitting, and that's the one, to, it's a half inch to three quarter inch from Lowe's. Well, the problem is Lowe's doesn't make this anymore. They only carry the Raid, Rainbird brand. And the Rainbird brand is garbage because it just doesn't work. It just, it's too small. It, you, you know, you try and heat it up to where it kind of seals. It doesn't do it. It's just too small. It just will slide right in the hole and pop, it'll, uh, it'll slide right in the hole and then just pop out when there's any kind of pressure to it. So they're just garbage. And the problem is, is that when I bought this line here, what this does, this runs all the way around the house into the front pasture where we actually got this fitting from and it just it just leaks and then this just saps pe pressure and it's just not good so i don't know why lowe's stopped carrying the it's these lasco fittings here everybody that i've talked to that's been looking for them um says this exact same thing the rainbird are just garbage so what i'm going to try and do is try and shove that back on even when i go and tighten the um the pipe uh what's it called i don't know that thing um it doesn't pop, it doesn't work so so I'm gonna pop this off and then see what we can do all right we're gonna see if that holds as hopefully it does I'm gonna try and go and uh, screw everything on real tight and then turn on the water and see what happens and it is working awesome there you go okay they're not even thirsty. They come over here whenever I do the water just so they can have first. It's just the way cows are. Look, look, they're gonna push and shove each other and just because, just so they can get the first, first drink, huh, Tiger? Now, project number two of the day is to get these things back up and running. They've been charging overnight and this, this here is, uh, this is what goes inside our energizer. So hopefully these charge back up. So what was going on with this thing here is that the light here, our uh, indicator light, um, was blinking red, which means that the batteries need to be charged up. So what we're gonna do is after we charge up the batteries all night, we're gonna try and put this thing back together. Never had to do this before because this thing hasn't. Uh, this thing has been pretty good to us, but we want to make sure everything's all good. This will work. All right, this thing. See, it's not working properly. See, it gets to six and then it'll drop. Two and a half and it'll drop. Okay. It might be time that I have to get some new batteries for this thing. Because I've had it for a little while now. But shoot, it's no good. See, this is what it's supposed to look like. You come here, okay, six, that's fine. And that's off of the, the new one, the 60. The 120 should be twice as strong, but I just gotta figure out what's going on with that. 
And I think the solution is YouTube or what I might do because the new ones, the new uh, energizers, have that little thing on the back to where you can just plug it in and charge it rather than take all the batteries out. What I might do is actually um, swap that battery, put it in here, and then take each of those batteries out one at a time and charge it in there so I know it's charging properly. Should have charged just fine on the uh, the battery charger that I have. Well, that's just it. Every day there's something to fix. There's something to get better on. There's something to, that's always gonna challenge. Man, I never get bored out here. There's always some sort of new challenge for me out here on the farm because there's always just something. But that's also what makes it fun. It's not the same, it's kind of repetitive, but it's never repetitive. You know, we do the same things every day. We move the cows and llamas, we move the ducks and geese, make sure they have food and water, but there's always a whole set of challenges that come with just those basic things.